start. And again, I like how you bring that fact up again. Will Fluxo start slow? Will Payne be able to take advantage of a potential slow start and lock Fluxo out before we actually get into the meat and potatoes of this series? A lot of question marks surrounding Fluxo in particular. There's a lot of question marks surrounding Payne as well. But the fact of the matter is, a lot of this discussion has almost been putting a lot of the onus on Fluxo to win this series. Right, no, it's not. Looks so, T side of their map pick. Slower start, but a play towards a smoke stairs, smoke jungle. Cross out of ramp and palace. Cow is under balcony. Dooley's in hand. Lots of bullets required, but he gets the first. And QZ is second. Lushan to Cow is, but he's still alive. And dancing between a flurry of angles. NQZ runs through the smoke as do his teammates towards Connector. And that should be the round where he's done and dusted. If Fluxo can't take the space immediately off those smoke grenades, they will be punished at the choke point. Kai, the last alive in Palace, has four against him. He got the only kill for his team in the round, but he needs four more. He's the B250 Super Soldier. He's just dancing around hoping to be given an opportunity, which is not being given. Finally, something. The dually on top of the balcony, but... This should be it. So many angles being held up by so many players that two are going to swing off contact on the first. There's the swing. Kai's playing this well, as well as he could in this kind of situation. But there's simply not a real feasible opportunity for him. Spots the first on site. Dances around again. Pain Gaming are playing very coy. Finally, Snow springs the trap. Or was it Snow? No, it was NQZ on the jump up box to spring the trap. Pain Gaming. Long-winded end to the pistol round in their favor. Yeah, but a pistol round win, no bomb plan for Fluke, so means things are going to look a little bit better for this pain side moving forward. And for pain, you want that confidence to build. You want to have a stronger look and a stronger result. And they are starting to look like they're going to have a stronger result and a stronger win. Of course, things may be a little bit more tenuous once the guns come out, but the CT side start also conducive to a positive beginning, easier than the T's, but with NQZ only going one for one with an M4, that's not exactly great. It should be recovered by Snow on a FAMAS, who will mow down two. He'll go grab that, but that still means the rifle's dropped. The FAMAS will not move over, as Lux and Big Ozetta still on the MP9s. Which will mean that this round here against the AKs of Luxo will become a little bit more rough for the CT side. Unless they want to go for something aggressive with the MP9s. Maybe a ramp push, a palace play, something underpass. Something that's going to be a little unexpected for Fluxo to deal with. They do have a Galil as well on the T side. No players lacking a helmet on pain. But those MP9s, despite that op of NQZ, something to really keep an eye on. We'll see nothing through that smoke obliteration, but the shot through the smoke or through the wall will catch Pierria down to 16 HP. And so for Fluxo, they start off a little bit on the back foot here. A little bit on the back foot. BDS the top middle at least, showing presence there. But Pain Gaming showing us that variety in their CT side, abandoning middle in this one. Focusing on connector. And the sights instead. Lux on catwalk needs to be careful. An MP9 is going to struggle at range. And Art might just challenge him from the bench. He'll reveal his position. Be alive and around the smoke, he almost finds Kai. The AK bests him a headshot is all it requires. Op of NQZ now is going to be difficult to wield alone on B. Mm -hmm. Try to keep these players at arm's distance at least. Snow, though, is ready for a quick rotation as required. 40 seconds left. Fluxo's kind of burning things down to a low time count. Need to make their decision. It looks like B's the call. He's still here ready to delay. Oof. Stop opportunity. Good swing from Snow, though. At least finds one on Catwalk. And NQZ has rotated. And there's pressure, too, from Abe. 15 Big seconds. Big a little bit of time. Oh, it all comes down to this. This drop onto Zevi. And now NQZ at Van trying to stay alive. He'll shotgun Nix as well. Kawas is here, too. And he defends onto Kai. Piria spotted and left alone on A. 
to do nothing in this round. Pain will pick it up. Great recovery from NQZ. Snow's one kill, massive as well to buy time. And so, we go into this. The 3 0 lead. No bomb plants yet for Flukso. More and more rough. More and more rough as time goes on. Worry about them losing track of time. I believe we saw it yesterday as well, if I'm not mistaken. They play Mirage twice. Actually playing it in all three series they have in this closed qualifier. Half by with one hero rifle for PDA. Of course, that saved weapon. In gaming, are playing respectfully as a result. Makes sense. PDA already dropped AK down on the ground. It has not been recovered either. It was in connector. Ooh. You go from Zevi. Does find a response to bring us back to even footing. And Pain have a lot of interesting ales to worry about now because they've given up Catwalk. And they've also given up Khan. They have the adjustments already in hand. Lux pushing the apartments, getting control of this extremity. Bringing up Snow on Catwalk to fully focus on that area. Good spot from Lux as well. He nearly falls, but he gets the bomb. And he survives with 1 HP. Art on Catwalk should not be long for the world. Blindsided by Snow. The question was, would he have a better map than he did earlier in the last series? I think he already has more kills than he did there. By round four. Top of NQZ. Cements the round with four surviving. Aim. No, firm control of this first map. Next real test here for Flukso. They have the op out for Zevi, Galil for Art, Kai, Nyx, and Piria. AKs in hand, a good amount of utility as well overall. Only Zevi and Piria are really lacking anything utility wise. NQZ. Op shot through the smoke, reveals nothing, damages no one. Pretty standard CT setup here for Pain. Lux soloing for now, getting grouped up with by that op of NQZ. Not using it mid, but using it B, which is an interesting thing to note. Big Uzetta will make his way over towards mid and just kind of keep an eye on things, both under and top. Passive and scared Fluxo right now, holding away 1 2 2 default, hoping for a pick and hoping for a push. It's none so of which are forthcoming. So scared that around five, Big Uzera has zero kills and zero deaths. Yeah. That's a feat. Mm hmm. Almost, I almost want to see him go the whole entire game at zero and zero. I mean, hey, they won the last Mirage game they played with Snow at 3 and 15, so anything is possible. At the same time, I don't think he'd be happy with the 0 and 0 scoreline. No, it would be funny. It would be hilarious. And at the same time, too, he is the end game leader. That would just mean he called a brilliant game. Yep. Typically, uh, organize things on two metrics. Are we winning? And is it fun? <laughs> yes. Well, there's Kawas to swing out for one, and a second as well. Big Uzetta will spoil our fun and double down. So he's 2-0 oh now. He, saw, he decided to go for the fun metric, Nate. He wanted fun, and I don't blame him. No kills is no fun. It isn't. Five survive means the CT economy is going to continue to grow. He's easily reinvesting into the utility. The minimum amount of cash is Kawas at 4.6k, which is a lot in the bank, especially for the CT side. Luxo being prevented from getting that bomb to dirt are on pistols yet again. Have they gotten a bomb plant in this map thus far? No. No, they how haven't. How far away from they are from finding victory? Oh yeah, and that was a gun round too from Luxo, and it ended like a pistol. No damage, no kills. They're going in fast pistol rush towards Lux, who will get overwhelmed. A good flash from Kai to support him over top. Big head up, sprays away. Here's the footsteps on Catwalk, knows what to expect and deals with Art, trying to force a little bit of a split. That's a nice kill through the smoke onto Snow, but Nyx, found by Big Uzetta, will level things out at three on three. Big U, dropping down. Is he going to Haps? I think he might be calling for a save. No, he's going to group up Market with everybody? That's an odd call, because they had the cat pressure too. And they're all going to go through one singular choke point. Market, door and window, technically two, but 
it's still a bit of an interesting situation. The Molotov to force out one, and they'll spray away through the smoke of blindside by Zevi. Maybe more? No, Big U. One more now trying to save as he will end up going down with the bomb at this point. 12 HP. I don't know if he's going to be able to get away enough to survive. He will, he will live. Kai will not, but a disappointing round for Pain as... Prior to that, there had been no bomb plants and no real chances for Fluxo to even get into a round. It's just an overwhelm of the site. And again, I don't like all three players going through market. It really limits what you can do on a retake. Try to play together so they don't lose a rifle and inadvertently give it away to one of those pistol players. But in the end, it doesn't matter. You're right. Half buy gets the first round of the board for Fluxo. It also gives them an, enough capital for an op. Zevi pulling that big weapon out. Right with the likes of NQZ. He's had a stellar start to this map. And it looks like Painter trying to change things up yet again. Double press in towards ramp. There's only one player there. That's Kai holding, I think, passively up top. Again, complete abandonment of middle for Pain in the early goings, knowing that they have conditioned Fluxo to play it passively. Top con, smoke window. Now mid control will be taken. See NQZ already rotating around, throwing a Molotov and going CT to hold the jungle wrap. Thank you. Also transitioning to spotting with the Molotov at ramp. We'll throw in a piece of utility. A split is the call, and NQZ finds one through the dwindling smoke. Biddy, ah, caught. New gun taken down, but a very heads up read from Art catches a trade onto Kawas under balcony. Thank you. He needs to choose a direction to fight. There's one in ramp. He's actually out. Kai gets one. Zevi gets a second. And the A site defense collapses. Snow is slowly rotating CT spawn. He's already doubling back. It looks to be a save for Pain Gaming. I lauded their economy a couple rounds prior. With these two losses in a row, it's looking like a far more dire situation. Some compromises will likely have to be made because of it. That's, uh, that round from Pain reminds me of a lot of the rounds they lost against Solid earlier today, and not in the way that Fluxor are playing, but the way that Pain play it. Pain are trying too hard to be different in a lot of these rounds. They're putting themselves in positions where they're essentially having to win a duel to even stay alive and even out on a trade count. And they're not even getting past the first hurdle. Then the cascade just follows down. It's a domino effect with pain players getting caught out, trying to retain some sort of control, trying to trade out. They're getting blindsided from left, from right, from center, from top. And pain are outplaying themselves right now. Almost feels like they need to remember the golden rule. Just keep it simple and go from there. An attempted trade onto Art will not work on two tries. Big Uzetta removed for that initial kill. And now a flood in towards B from Fluxo who are picking up the pace here. I like this adaptation from Fluxo as well. Once you get something going, just full on scale forward. Lux is burned into the smoke. They'll actually circumnavigate it and get around, but NQZ falls victim in the meantime. Lux able to trade and Snow's come through for one onto Kai. Or on into Nyx, rather, but Lux eventually falls. Snow caught as well. Kawes, a winnable one versus three, but maybe a little bit too early on that spray. Can't get by the op. And now three rounds in a row for Fluxo off the drop. F caught within two of Pain, and Pain's money is gone and broke it. A half by here. Hero M4 for Lux may be possible. But overall, it's going to be a pretty disastrous buy for the CT side. And for Payne, it's timeout time into round number 10 because Flukes are going to be within one. Yes, they are. A miraculous return to form for them as they find three in a row. They finally break the CT economy. You're right when I thought Payne might have hit cruise control. They step off the gas entirely. Two hero rifles for Lux and NQZ. The thing is, the individuals are still hitting shots. They're still across the board doing pretty well on the Payne side. Losing the fights at critical junctures. 
Lux hiding, holding underpass up close, unexpected angle. No one's there to challenge him under. Will he be ready for this catwalk is the question. Spot from NKZ, boosted over the smoke. Good for one, the rifle recovered as well. Later on, catwalk distracts and Lux trying to seize the day, whiffs the spray. Snow will get the trade, but that's only to even things back up. Big Uzera bullied on catwalk, won't find anything with that P2K. It's actually Nyx flying to headshot him. Snow and Kawas should be transitioning to save at this point. Kawas go middle, get one of the dropped A1Ss or the AK, I think, Catwalk. There it is, two AKs, in fact. There won't be any contention from these two Pain Gaming players as they both just try to hold on to the AKs. The is starting to heat up as well. Good sign. Very good sign for Fluke, so. Terrorists win. Pain's T Oh, go ahead. I say their their T side is no slouch, and their CT side is even better, Fluke, so. Six should be more than enough. You were going I the exact even... opposite I was going. Really? I was saying, Payne's T side struggled against Solid. They need more than this. Bad. Two sides of the same coin, realistically speaking. Yep. Suddenly not painting a pretty picture for Payne, who won five in a row now on a four round slide. You have a good investment now. Op for NQZ is in effect. He's been solid with that weapon. And we are seeing the big adjustment I wanted to see. More presence in middle. Big Uzera jumping up catwalk, looking for something, looking to challenge. Op to NQZ's over towards Ticket to also support if required. That's a good little move towards Spigot, but Big Uzera lives to tell the tale. He'll retreat up the ladder into its safety. Fluxo slowing things down right now in the mid round. They've been going faster for the last few rounds trying to put pain into a spot where they're going for fights again, which has worked out for Fluxo recently. Fluxo still have a lot of utility as well. Pain are burning through their belts quickly. But we are starting to get into the later stages of this round. A hit will have to come through sooner rather than later. And it looks like a B play is on the cards with a fake towards A, 35 seconds to go. Fluxo need to make their play and quickly. Or one kill from Big U or Lux can exactly ruin everything. Kawas is watching for the flank. Smokes flashes it's all a fake, and Kawas is going to take the bait here. But Big U's at his jump spot, sees the bomb, and all three playing around the balcony. Has support from Lux. Back wood. Snow gets another one. He'll go one for one, but Lux is there for a second. Big U pops again. And Nyx will just have to back away as the fake fails for Fluxo. And Payne. Six rounds they've gained, seven now. I think a necessity for them on the CT side, but the money more than good enough for Flukes to buy into this again. Zebby will have that op. And I would not be surprised if we see another faster paced play coming in from the T's. Yeah, don't go too complicated. The fake did not work out. Also, we haven't seen a straight A lean thus far. Not be a bad idea. Maybe more aggressive towards middle. They do typically wait a while before they take control. NQZ jumping underpass to hold with the op. Look for an opening. Big Uzera, though, is the one to start things off. Spamming in con. I said the aggression mid might not be a bad idea, but it's shut down entirely. The op of NQZ, patient in underpass, content knowing that Big Uzera holds the top line, finds a third, completely blindsides them. Zevi. God. Final two. Try and do something. Bomb is still theoretically under their control. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see a save at this stage. 
especially yeah. for that op. The minute is a long time to wait. Nyx has money, but nobody else does. Art's going to be in that danger zone for a rebuy. I don't think Payne are going to hunt, though. They don't have a lot of money either, and they'll want to have a full belt of utility, full rifles, and everything else into the next round, to the last round of the half. But one thing, too, Payne have really simplified the defense in the last couple of rounds, Nate. They're not going for these trick plays, these awkward fights and pushes. It's more simplified. It's more standard Counter-Strike. Basic utility flash supports. Nothing over-aggressive. There seems to be a trade when it comes down to it, and they're not over-pushing for info. They're playing a much safer game while still maintaining some form of aggressiveness and control. And it's a good balance right now, and Fluxo have not been able to counter it. Might not be able to either, as there's only one round left in the half. Aiden got to that seventh. He said to probably be required. That was a funny Molotov from Big U. <laughs> Seven to four. Eight seems possible with the concessions that Luxo will need to make. The individuals have arrived here and there for Fluxo. There's a chance that they can upend our expectations in spite of the Galils. Actually, the spy is far better than I expected it to be. I was expecting at least one Mac 10 or a Tech 9. Going back to what we started this half with. A lot of interest put on the sights for the defense and more or less hands off in middle. Pain to be weary of going back to this kind of play because Fuxo mm -hmm. has exploited it before. With that opening, the art of all people, Pain might just have the eighth on the board. Kai just narrowly missing the spot onto Snow. A half second too late, or he would have had a... Not a free headshot, because it's still a skill shot to hit. But it would have been a good opportunity to level things out at four players each. Look at the T-spawn control from Big Uzeta and Kawas as well. Big U's going through, but this could be a false positive, leaning in towards a B hit as mid. Open. No information there. You're calling it, Nate. It's a problem which has been exploited before by Fluxo. They're looking to work their way into A. Kawas' position makes this a bit better for Payne. He has a, almost a power position from ramp. Not something you'd expect to see. Snow's going to get the spot into jungle, and that's going to reveal a lot. But now Nyx is expecting somebody here. It's a great read from him. Kawas can't pop up and grab the kill. He'll toss a smoke instead to buy himself a little bit of space to work with. But this should be a bomb plan for Flukes, although the bomb's on the op, and it's fighting out towards ramp. Kawa's taking damage, but still not down. Finally drops as Snow gets pushed in and is able to eliminate Kai. Thinking about pushing up, will instead play the smart and long game over the smoke onto Piria. Lux catches Nyx. They know where Zevi is, giving that kill onto Snow. And Zevi flash dodges it. Two players around the corner. One dies. Big U trades. An 8-4 half for Payne into the break. Some way, like I might be stuck in a dream. I stay here till the day breaks. Feeling like I never wanna leave. Keep moving till the sunrise. You're taking my mind out to see. Fall in love at low tide. I'm thinking we should never.
Streaky first half ends with Payne Gaming ahead by four. Eight to four is the score as they enter the T side, the more difficult side of Mirage. Pineapple Phillips and Boggs on the mic. And Fluxo with some ground to make up. They're going for a very traditional investment. Four sets of Kevlar, a smoke hit for Nyx. On the other side, we have two sets of utility spread out across three players. NQZ dropping his Molotov over to Big Uzera. No super soldiers for either team. And it looks like a very heavy A site lean for Pain Gaming as they throw a smoke connector and race out of the ramp into an empty bomb site. Yeah, it was a mid and B play from Fluxo, and the bluff gets called. It's a fast sprint out, and Snow getting that bomb down. We'll, we'll start the five man hold here for Pain. Have to be careful not to give these 1v1s to the USPs. That is case and point exhibit A from Zevion to Kawaz. NQZ, though, long flank coming through top middle. Has some help in towards bottom mid. Kills now starting to level out. Zevi with two Ooh. more. Hold up. Zevi's bringing this back here for, for Pain, or for Fluxo, rather. As he's charging in, taps the bomb, does not know. Snow is behind. Triple box. No kit for Zevi. Snow. Buying time, contacted, winning the duel in the end. But Fluxo, exactly why you don't want to peek one versus one when you're holding against USPs on Glocks, on T side, on pistol. They made it close. Yes, it took some individual prowess from Zevi, but the thing is, USP one shot, headshot. You don't want to peek into that fight if you have the advantage. Glocks are great close range, mid range. Why force the issue onto the fights? I get it, maybe Payne want to go and have some dinner or something, but that almost ended really bad. Then Payne going for a rifle-centric second round buy. Three Galils, an AK, and a Mac-10. We need to make sure their bonus round is as scary as possible. I think you need to be careful bottom mid. Are a bunch of players here. In fact, there's a five-stack middle from the USPs. They invested nothing. Now they're basically all on catwalk with one going market. A long flank might be in order. This could overwhelm one player. More than one or two kills would be a lot to ask. Yeah, spotted. Tag down. NQZ doesn't know the numbers that lie outside of T apartments. Yeah, it's just going to be exits here. If that. Pain don't need to push out. Lux can go for some money, and I support that call. Long range Mac 10 kill, close range Mac 10 kill, mid range Mac 10 not gonna work out. And Lux on low HP will back away, not wanting to risk his life. Good discipline there. Get a couple of, not quite a couple of thousand, but 1200 bucks is pretty solid. And now for Pain, they have their Galils, their Mac 10, the AK. No helmets on Nyx or Art or Piria. No armor at all for Zevi. Not a kit. Minimal utility as far as Molotovs are concerned. Two incendiaries, a good complement of smokes, minimal flashbangs, a couple of AGs, and a missed cat jump running through the Molotov is Kai while blind down to 73 HP. 
smoke will enable him to hide and then eventually cross up into con and a safely but pain are bisecting the map putting their mid a split on the table smokes and molotovs into con and now the mid control starting to really come through moving up towards con as the a players to ramp one palace wait out for the set time zevi trying to peek with that op sees nothing Pirria here on stairs is the main point of contact, has to stand tall. The fade does not favor him. A great flash from Lux, and Big Ozetta entries onto Kai as well. Art from Ticket for Booth will spray down one, tries to go for more, but he cannot get more than the one. The op shot of Zevi reveals its position, and it will have to be Save City for Flukso, about to go down by seven as the bomb gets planted by NQZ. Zevi and Nyx into apartments to huddle and hide. And Nate Payne are establishing dominance here early on again on the T side this time. Two rounds away from the map. One round away from guaranteed OT. And the leagues ahead of their opponents. Seems like Flukso find themselves on the back foot early. Make the correct read and the correct adjustment. Come back for a couple. But Payne simply have that depth of knowledge. That depth that comes with building up that team chemistry. Which Flukso simply do not have. Again, Flukso adding two new players recently. We haven't had that time. Three will survive for Pain. Both the Flukso players will survive as well for their efforts. Zevi could drop an M4 or a FAMAS to buy some utility. They could force by around this. I feel like they almost have to. Mm. Wouldn't give them enough room to go down 4 to 12. So they'll go all in. Kai has a bit of money in the bank. No one else really does. Two M4s, two MP9s, an op. Where's that being saved? Meanwhile, Payne have full rifles and an op of their own on NQZ. Missed window smoke. Gives PDI the opportunity to peer into middle. Payne seem to be leaning for a straight B play. There's an op on Cat. Nix is jump spotting. If they can get ahead of the utility. They can just take control of the site. They failed doing this versus solid, but this time around they get out with little fuss. Swing comes through. Nix is good for one. Nix is good for two on the MP9. Zevi on catwalk might just find one as well. Pain find themselves in a difficult spot just below the window. Marooned with no map control. Zevi should have Snow dead to rise if he presses the issue. The player jail is caught. Good one for Snow. The op as well. Only legs NQZ. Doesn't take him out of the round. Big U is on a flank that has activated. One secured. A second on catwalk should be expected. The round is now far from over thanks to Big U Zero's heroics. Kai finds one. Big U, a trade via the guy in market. But both remaining T-side players are lit. And they line up. No, the op shot misses. NQZ drops down for another chance at bat. Big U finds Kai. Zevi is known to be far back on the catwalk. Timing is against him. And this pair brings it back from the brink. Big U Zero's flank. Paying off in a big way. That flank from Bigu. Long in having its impact, but the impact won the round for Pain. If Bigu doesn't activate that flank, there's no way that Snow and NQZ are able to battle their way out of that. Snow getting that kill as well into jail was huge. That opens up the possibility of that flank having so much impact. And that's the individuals of pain just showcasing what they need to do. NQZ blinded, burning, gets told to get out of the Molotov, backs out of there. Snow tucks in towards underpass stairs, hoping to catch somebody pushing forward. Kai may just give it to him. He's aggressing through kitchen. Big Uzetta to group up with Snow as well, hoping somebody goes probing a little bit too aggressively for a Flukso up against the wall on their map pick. Map number two being Dust 2 as well, a great map for Pain. And that'll let NQZ's op have a lot of impact. Although I would like to see Zevi on the op for Flukso. If they could even get it into his hands, he has not had the op all too often. Last round of Glass Cannon made his life all the more difficult. And this little game of chicken up in apartments. Great flash dodge by Kai. He read that so well. Only able to get one for one, but gets a lot of damage off of it onto the second player as well. Be not quite open either for pain, and they're not going to force the issue here. They're going to play it a little bit slower, and I like that call. You don't need to rush the site off of that pick. 
draw some rotation, so little chaos, let Cowes and Lux do something. Lux, though, only dies, leaving a lot onto Cowes' shoulders as he creeps out of a ramp. Expecting the player in hell. Has a clean fight on it as well, but he's just going to go towards jungle. One blind. Great flash from Vigu. Three versus three. Do they clear hell, though? They haven't cleared it out just yet. Somehow, some way, Nyx is still alive. He'll get one, but only one. Vigu trades. Grabs the bomb, but he has his knife out, and he's caught by Piria. One and two for Piria, as Fluxo will stay alive here and not go out on their own map pick just yet. Money good enough for another buy from Pain. But a narrow victory for Fluxo means they have to reinvest significantly as well. Their utility looking strong, though. Won't have the op for Zevi. A couple of MP9s for Nyx and Art. But otherwise, a decent CT buy. Kit's on four, too. That's something we like to see. But Pain are still in control. They are. I'm interested in that last round. NQZ found the trade on the opening against Kai. He was given an AK by Big Uzera. Went for the fight and then swapped back to the op. Mm-hmm. The very weird shifting of rifles there. Ooh, so still not out of the woods with two MP9s in hand. No op either. Rival NQZ. The Pain Gaming's economy has been expended at this point into this round. If Fluxo can hold on for another round, they should get a seventh off the back of this one. Of course, they have to win the first to get the second. Would do a lot for their economy. Starts with they, one. Yeah, soon they can get the save or make it clean against the save. Flash half by. Finally be able to get full rifles, maybe even an op. Would be a big bolstering to their chances mm -hmm. in this map. Zevi's good with the rifle. He's better with the op. So you definitely want to get him on the big green gun. Lux, though, catches Kai. That's an unlucky start for Fluxo. Traded back at least Big Uzetta removed. He's been an impactful player for Pain. Lux trying to scale forward and get more damage done. Art forced into Sandwich. But he's not gobbled up. It's Piria. Another one. Molotov forces Art out of the open. He'll burn alive. Three versus three now. Zevi long range duel. Takes the awkward fight. Eats a lot of damage. And Piria removed by NQZ's off. Zevi flashes for Nyx, is it now in the two versus two? Nyx goes up, he goes down, and 20 HP Zevi trying to clutch this one up and keep Fluxo alive in map one there, pick up Mirage. It has not been good for Fluxo, a four round streak halfway through the first half has been all they've really been able to put on the board, and it will be all they're able to really do as Snow shuts down the last little creep and pain. I won't say it was the smoothest map for them, but the score line was good. It was relatively clean overall. And aside from that little hiccup, those four rounds they lost in a row, that was a very good performance from Pain. A very solid performance for them to be able to take this Pain team to a third. Yeah, I have to agree with you, especially after seeing that first map. 13 5, as you mentioned. There was that four round streak for them in the first half to give them something to stand on, but they completely collapsed once Pain hit the key side, which is the more difficult side as well. So, just to the map that we are heading to now, it is the CT side at least for Fluke, so something for them to try to build upon. But we need to see a newly reinvigorated team if they want to send us off to Vertigo. Cap is live, Kai has upgraded dualies, and Vidya has some utility. Dropped a piece over to Zevi as well. Pain. Again, two sets of utility spread out across four. And a P250 Super Soldier through Lux to try and fight at range over towards Long. Nyx trying to tap away. Cannot come up with anything positive yet. Backs towards Gandalf. Zevi gets the opener actually onto Snow. But Gandalf has been sent down to fight the Balrog. NQZ doubles it up as well. Four versus three now for Pain as the CTs try to flood in for the retake. Kai's able to get one up close with those duelies. And Cowles will be right around the corner, met with a nice headshot, leaving it all down to Lux P250 raid boss. Sure, but three on the other side. Cannot connect the shots for the first. The tap is on. It's not even planted for him. And Lux will just do what damage he can here. Might even be better off to save the armor. Art deals with him. And Fluxo, a critical pistol round to get their first lead in this series. The bomb plant, though, is the big question. 
and whether or not Payne will buy off of the back of it will have a lot of importance on to the rest of this round. Where was it planted? It was planted back, Big Box. Why? I do not know, Lux. and I asked myself the same question. Lux was staying in pit with the explicit purpose of playing the bomb at range on the P250. This planned default box. There was more than enough space yeah. bought, more than enough space afforded, especially once they found Gandalf. Some miscommunications early, perhaps, for Payne, and normally they're more than happy to go for the second round investment, especially with the bomb plant, but this time around they're playing it more passive, more cautious. Cowes and Lux going for Deagles, a flash for Big Uzera. It's because NQZ gets an op next round. Yeah. You can see an op from NQZ because we got those two kills. Round prior. 2MP9s, 3M4s to rebuke this straight out middle for a bunch of the pistols. Seeing how much space they're being given, they actually jump up towards Catwalk instead. I don't hate this, but they're going to struggle versus Kai and Zevi's M4s. A Deagle can always make a difference. If it finds one, they can scale off of that and grab another. Zevi will also be a little bit late unless he gets the call as he tries to come back. Kai, faced, removes the first. Nate to soften up the rest, spraying wildly while blind. Only gets two. And the bomb plant will come through here, which, never mind, that's, a, that's the longest three and a half seconds I've ever seen. I thought that NGC was going to be able to get that to dirt. He was not able to. Silence there by Zevi. But Fluxo, 2-0 up. Have to deal with the buy now and have to deal with that op of NQZ. That's going to be the real big test here. What that op can do. What can that op do? There is no op to rival. And a good tag early on. On to Art. That boost up in towards underpass middle. Start off that damage. Good nade from Catwalk though. Gives away almost as much in return onto Snow and Big U. Got a fiery hot start from Zevi on the rifle. Christian Long has the call for the CTs. Kane putting a lot of emphasis, in fact, all of the emphasis on middle. Now is just hiding behind long doors in case so get a little bit too inquisitive. Big U, around that smoke. May have one or may fall. It's Pirya to get the drop on him. Big U not ready for an aggressive peak like that. And there's some good rifling from Pirya early, but it's traded back onto Kai by Lux, who tries to pick up the paces and pick up some pieces as well. Molotov to clear out the ramp. Expecting somebody else, but as he swaps to utility, Zevi meets him with a two-tap dirt nap. NQZ around with the op. Answers back in kind of nice op shot from him. Going aggressive, can't hit that close flick. But it's all but shut down on the retake. Here is Art on 26 HP, walled out in CT. Snow and Kawas might be low on health, but Art 1 does not know that too. He's going to have to retreat here. Pain will find themselves there first on the first gun round of this one. And the money for Fluxo is not going to be ideal here. Art's going to grab an AK, have armor to save that with. Pain will be able to reinvest as well. They get that op back for NQZ, more importantly. But for Fluxo, they fall at the first hurdle. And keeping the lead here is going to be very difficult with this lack of economy. It's going to be very difficult. They did well to find damage, but they couldn't quite get it across the line. She going to force by with Art on a P250. I don't hate it. Get an MP I hate that though. less. <laughs> yeah. Video though, completely lacking utility. Four players without helmets. That is a non-factor, however. And no kits in play. It's a so should be trying to win this by attrition, by duels. Pain, playing very respectful. One player lower tons, it's Big U. But everybody else towards top, middle, or even towards spawn. Snow just threw a smoke towards Xbox. Slash mid doors. Mid 25 and not a lot of control to be spoken of as of yet.
three player stack on catwalk is definitely a play from fluke so mm -hmm. main gaming are sidestepping that part of the map they're going for a b play just leaving cows outside long as he's been the rest of the team grouping up in towards tunnels Ready to pop in. The smoke will be a bit late, although Art will still win one and maybe even a second fight. Indeed, a second fight while blind. They go out one by one by one. Snow's able to trade, but he's traded right back in a moment. Three for one for Flukso. That is brilliant stuff, but at the same time, the spacing was off for pain, giving Art the ability to win two of those fights, one while blind. And the late peak from Snow just exposing himself. NQZ now in a one versus four to do some damage, and that's going to be an op for Zevi, surely, that Flukso can bring into the next round if they're able to take down NQZ, which it appears Flukso don't want to hunt. And I guess with that economy, it makes... Oh, yeah, they got full AKs. That makes a lot more sense now. They'll just save their AKs and be content to leave that over to Pain in the next round. But a shaky start for Pain on this T side, and for Fluke, so the individuals are coming alive. Zevi in particular hasn't even had an op yet. He's up to seven kills. Piria's rifle has been good as well. Art has been solid. And Nyx hasn't even been needed. He hasn't. I'm a little bit concerned, though, about Pain Gaming's very slow T side default. Three players, not even in middle, just outside of long doors for about half a minute. They do actually slowly push down middle, but they don't show much of any presence towards catwalk. Let's get control and then make a decision. Half by around the saved op. Interesting call given the fact that NQZ has zero in the bank. And Luxo are happy playing their own game. They've not been challenged long. They're taking a lot of control there very quickly. Wondering when Payne will finally decide to go for an early pop out of that direction. Thus far, Fluxo have been exploiting that expertly. That is a missed smoke from Payne. Should be popping on top of the box. A minute left in the round with no contact being taken by either team. Pain slowing it down on Cat. Now moving out into middle, looking for an op opening, which has not been given. A disciplined style of CT defense for Flukso right now. Nate goes in. That distracts the opper, but Lux trades it back. Art may fall here. If he does, the bomb can go down. And there's the trade. Lux stabbed in the back, though. And Kowis oh. gets two from behind. It's not necessarily a winnable round, but the economic damage is substantial. Kowis will live with an AK. Nyx will survive with one of his own. And Kowis might even be able to get that off back for NQZ. Indeed, he does. He'll drop that to NQZ. Probably MAC-10 armor this next round. But the economic damage is immense to Flukso, who are going to have to struggle to get everything back in. There will not be much residual bank account for them. And they're going to double op set up this one with no utility, essentially, for Art and Zevi. A smoke for both and a flash for Zevi. No helmet for Art. This is a bold move, Cotton. The game has been full of surprises thus far. Back 10 for Kawas as well. Mid, or tunnels, excuse me, the focal point once more for Pain. Idiot is close, he'll throw a smoke at a bit at 30. Pain getting cat control slowly. Nyx boosted up long. Again, he's not really been challenged in this position. He actually has zero kills. That should tell you how few times they've gone long. Mm -hmm. Somebody else who has zero kills as big as Zeta. That's even more concerning. 
Finally a long play, but Nix is in a very interesting spot. Good for one only one. Good trade in the Mac 10 now as an upgrade. Kai gonna race forward to try and play the corner. Flash. Good dink, but not the kill. The AK skill diffs against the M4. Flash over long. Still defenders here too. Zevi's op misses the mark. Now he has to play a lot closer and a lot more fraught. One for one. That was a good trade to maintain the advantage. Yeah, still on catwalk. He's still looking to regain control of the site. Art is here as well. That op becoming far more unwieldy in a retake. The op car should have one dead to rights. Yes, it does. Art at this point should be saving. Yeah. There's no realistic chance back in for Art here. The question is, does he hold on to his op or does he drop it over to Zevi? He should drop it. Should is the key word there. Will we see Art channel his inner Zeus? That is the question. We'll see. The other thing is, too, actually considering the lack of armor, he probably should keep it. Unless they go all in here. Which, Zevi and Art on double eek. Maybe you go all in. Yeah, it's looking like they are going to go for the full force. Art will keep the up. Is the spawn based? Okay, he had the long spawn. And Zevi's following. Him. So I think it's going to be get kill or not. Swap up. Probably going to be the call here. And early engagement out long. Not going to end up with anything either direction. The op it now in Zevi's hands. So they go for the spawn play. I respect it. Doesn't pan out yet. So they'll get into a more standard CT side setup. Kai's going to get all this information on the sound. And Zevi's actually going to fall down with that op. Nyx picks it up next in line. But he also, actually never mind, it's Kai who falls instead. As that opens up the B side of the map, there's information. There's multiple players towards A. Payne can push the gas here and get on towards a freebie site. Now with Piria falling, it is wide open indeed. Art on scopes makes noise. Nyx is spotted and removed. Art will fall as well. And Payne a flawless anti-force by shutting down Flukso now. Closing the gap to one round, trying to get a lead here in the next couple. Making that flawless definitely helps their T-side economy, helps their confidence. Wondering what that pain gaming smoke is. If it's a missed lineup, it just pops right outside mid doors. You saw it in mm -hmm. blue. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. I feel I'm like assuming that's a it's a flub. And then they did. I swear we've seen it more than once. Unless that's an actual like set smoke to cover their backside from cat. But I'm with you. <laughs> Thank you. A mixed bag of damage around the smoke is tagged quite low. Snow will get the first instead. Lots of damage being taken by Pain. They need to be careful to keep this relatively clean. Another dink. Thank you, Z. Beheads one. Lots of damage. BDR finally opens it up, finding one. Art is now alone and burned in the corner of Elevator. Four to four. Could have been a far more expensive round. Instead, only one rifle is felled. Pain. Took them a while to get on the board. They're now at a tied ball game. Yeah, that tied ball game for Pain right now. Helping their cause on this T side of Dust 2. They are more CT sided, as you might expect. 62.7% on the CT side, 56.2% on T. So not a bad T side by any means, but still, they favor the defense decently significantly. And for Flukso, their CT side actually happens to be the worst. 46.5% versus 51.9%. Art around the car, though, will put an end to statistics and get one kill. Only one, however. That opens up the B site, but it's going to have to be held out by the... Oh my gosh, NQZ! Silenced M4. One spot he knew it could be. 
and gets flare credits for the headshot too. Still holding off this B site, which was what I was about to say before he hit that shot. He has to hold out B before all these rotations come. The rotations are coming through. Now Lux is actually on the outside of tunnels, trying to break his way in. Now spotting these players is probably going to try and flash his way out and go to A. Or wait for Kawas to come on through. Long range MP9 duel one, forced down, and Kawa is caught as well, leaving it all down to NQZ. Has two, needs two more. They know he's on the B side proper. He knows roughly where they are. The op is not a good weapon to use in this situation, HP. but at least it is a one shot kill for his HP indeed. Flash over top, peaks early, and he's done. Flukso will maintain the round. But pain. Make it really, really close and very, very costly. Uh, costly, especially for a CT side. Pain, though. Know that round was all over the place. No, it shouldn't have been that chaotic and that brought with danger. So they will call a tactical timeout. Try to tighten things up. That flank was far too disjointed in that point. Far too expected. Needs to be more tightened up, more quick. We're ready. Looks like it's time to talk things out. They'll have a full buy still, the pain side. As will Flukso. We're still lacking a bit of utility, but a full buy for certain. Zevi's op has looked quite solid. Then again, so has NQZ's. Both are atop the board for their respective teams. Round number 10. Now alive. In which direction do Pain go? Spread out. One underpass. One long to hold. This guy was, of course, in three tunnels, including the op of NQZ. Trying to find an opening on this B site. Three more rounds in the half. Smoke blooms. Bottom mid. As Payne worked their way around, just trying to set up. Lux will double up on the spray, though. And that's a massive double entry out. Middle of the boost gets knocked down and toppled. B-site is open. They don't know it yet, but they will soon as snow begins to clear towards the site through upper tunnels. Lux going to catwalk. Spots a leg, but doesn't click on the head. That's a quick shot from Zevi. Nix is answered back by NQZ's op. The bomb is actually going to end up on A here. Which is quite an interesting conundrum for Payne. The A site is where Zevi's op remains, but Cow has a little bit of an finicky movement there. We'll throw Zevi's crosshair off to lay him long enough to shoot. And Kai walks right into the waiting arms of Big Uzetta. Five all here in the last two rounds of the first half. Dust to the pick of Payne. Luxo lost their own map pick of Mirage 13 5. And their money is horrible. They can't buy a full round. All but guaranteeing pain at least getting six on the T side. Isn't what you would have expected given how this map started. And a 4 0 start? 4 1 start? I believe it was a 4 1, yeah. Now it's a 5 5 and luckily a 5 6. One scout for art. One deagle for PDAs, all they invest. Have you working up mid though? Could timing one. All five for pain going out long. This is quite the commitment, especially against pistols. You have Kawas on that flank watch. Zevi, critical corner? Yes, but he's still caught. No damage done. The second is expected. This isn't going to force the issue. Pain. Still slowly getting control of long. In fact, all four Flukso players now are flanking. Kawas finds a second. Third, spots a fourth, gets that, and here's the fifth. It's a clean ace in the anti eco for Kawes, who rockets to the top of the board. Clean and collected from him. And Payne now, well poised to potentially take the lead, steal the lead in this first half. That would be massive for Payne to be able to steal away a lead, given their slow start on this map where Fluxo were looking good. Pain, which is steady as she goes, not even needing Big Uzetta much at all. He only has three kills in the half. 
Snow only has four, but Lux, Kawas, and then QZ really putting up the pressure. Zevi's first op hit towards Cat this round goes awry, and Lux will add another one on to Piria out lower tunnels. He's tagged down low, but it does not matter. Opening pick goes the way of the T side. Kai beginning to try and gain some cat control. Molotov is late, but NQZ's on the angle. Bligu will get his gun out in time, spotting Kai out and shutting him down a little bit late. But again, not expecting somebody in front of that Molotov all too early. Two picks for the price of none for Payne as they still work around the map, beginning to slowly take long control as all three remaining Fluxo players push towards middle. Luxo, trying to regain some sort of semblance of control. Nyx, clearing up towards lower tunnels. Spotted by Lux, who's not able to get the kill, but do they expect the second player here in Snow? No, they don't. They actually avoid it and go towards A, reading the play well. Flash goes high, push comes across the smoke, and Snow comes in from behind with one, maybe two. No, he's shut down, but Big Uzetta has the last pair. Seven to five for Pain into the second half. Low start for Payne ends with a slight lead, 7-5, to five, heading into their CT side of Dust2, their map pick. It's Pineapple Phillips and Boggs on the mic, and a tech pause to start off this second half. Hopefully things aren't too crazy. Nope, never mind. We're already canceled into the action. Payne, slow start ends with that narrow lead. They already took their opponent's map pick, 13-5. Victory here. To book their spot at ESL Challenger Katowice. That would be a big opportunity for them to get some more international experience. 
A team like Payne, hungry for more of that. They definitely have had some, but they would love more, especially with the major looming around the corner as well. Everyone trying to get as much opportunity against the best as they can. Flukso, all up long. No contention from pain. A lot of mid control from this side, almost similar to what Flukso did on their own CT pistol half. But there's more convergence and more proactivity coming in from this pain side. That smoke on cat's going to clue in quite a bit of information. Nade will go through, flashes in, Molotovs as well. Sight under the control of a Flukso. But in come the Pain Gaming Boys. One for one trade. Team kill as well as the Dual Beretta shooting everything that moves. Kills going back and forth. Snow into a one versus one. As the chaos and dust settles, Snow runs out of ammunition. He's able to get a quick reload off in time. Spamming away, but Nyx will survive and win the War of Attrition. Flukso winning both pistol rounds now. Should give themselves a foundation to try and close out Dust 2 and take us to Vertigo, the third map, if we have to require it. But Pain are going for a force. Five sevens for Snow and Cowes, a Deagle for Lux, a Scout for NQZ, and Big Uzera opting in for the UMP, Nate. Had no money for an MP9 if he wanted to get a helmet. And so we see the UMP, which seems to have a little more favoritism to players playing long-range angles. It does. Scout from NQZ does good damage relatively early on Zevi. TTs are kind of spread out across the map currently. Thank you. You mentioned that UMP up close in the jump-up box of Catwalk. Pretty solid spot for it to play. I'm wondering if he's going to jump with it. Right. Luxo are thinking about going up catwalk as well. Bit left in the round. Not much contact being taken beyond that scout shot. That does appear to be the name of the game. And QZ is set up at car. This is a very solid setup for this CT side. He can tag them as they cross. And Big U can peek off contact. Thirty-eight seconds left. A fake for a B split. Of course, no one's buying it. Jump up for BDI. Spotted. Tagged. But he and the kind has not been spotted either. Kai gets the first on NQZ. Second secured by that wrap in from CT spawn. What looked like a potent setup is dismantled cleanly. Flank onto the player long already. Tags Kawas down to 40. Round is done at this point. These players will be saving their Kevlar for the following. The question is if Kawes will get far enough away from these scrappy duels because Flukso, or at least Art, seems keen on hunting a couple players down. Yeah, this is becoming a little bit rougher here for Pain as they just struggle to stay alive here with their setup that looked good in the initial out start of the round falling apart and becoming a bit of a non sequitur so the hunt is on for these pistols the smg looking for extra cash it will not find and a tie score line heading into round 15 here no buy for pain they'll go with what they had for the last round saved the five sevens the deagle NQZ will save everything he has for an op in the next round. And for pain, a couple of kills, maybe grab a rifle. Things can get a little more expensive for the T side. That's about what they're looking for. For Fluxo, it so, it's just get the round and clean, and that's a good start. One of those saved hits of Kevlar. Second spotted and now felled. NQZ not going to be long for the world as far as he just sits around the Molotov. The stopping power is not there. Mm -mm. Eagle and 5-7. Smoke on the cross. They might just save their Kevlar as well. Looks so will retake the lead. 8-7. Question is, will they hunt these two players 
down. The SMG is worth hunting with. Don't use a rifle. It's not worth losing a Galil or an AK. Take out pistols and armor. And even the MAC-10 is not really going to go too far forward. Gets a spot, but how much further are they willing to commit to this hunt? Art's getting supported here. He'll drop down. It's been heard. And maybe actually get a second player coming through. The Deagle from Lux actually connects on nothing. That's a... And how the 5-7's also not doing anything either. Finally does some damage through that smoke. And Snow is going to just try and hide... Smoke bomb keeps him alive. I'm still curious how Art managed to survive unscathed for that long. It seemed like he was going to be tagged, if not bagged, early on in that overall engagement. But with that aside, this is the first real test for Fluxo on the T side, and the first test they have to pass if they want to take us to a third. First real big test prove that they have not only that early sprint, but also that marathon mentality required to come back. NQZ. Body middle around the smoke. He's nothing. There's a player Xbox, so he needs to be careful. Op slowly working its way in. Flashbang compels him to leave. Zevi misses the shot. He is here to support as well. Catwalk control taken by Fluxo. A might be again the site of choice for the T side. Cowes and Pitt. If he goes two for one, that's huge. First peak works out. He's able to escape. Tosses smoke to maybe enable him to cross away. That's a question mark for Fluke, so they don't know where he's gone. Expecting somebody towards corner as well. Snow shows. That's a really good trade by Nix and a great read by Fluxo. Kawa is now in a very awkward spot as fire rains in on his position as well. Unsupported. Bigo Zeta coming in late. That smoke will fade momentarily. Bigo gets the spot, but it's Kawa's to get the kill. And I believe they know somebody tucked into blue as well. Zevi now reveals himself with the kill. Zevi, though, working around. Dinked and finished. And Payne only losing two players in this round. Denying the bomb plant. Getting the extra op as well. Very solid first gun round on the CT side. Solid first gun round. Now a solid opportunity to potentially break this T side economy. Never mind. Maybe another round will be required. We'll see how low they get. Double op in effect. Snow picking up the secondary. As long as the call flukes are changing the pace, Biggie will throw the Molotov. Will it be quick enough? I don't think so. They're going to race out ahead of it. Biggie will take the duel around the smoke. One secured a bit haphazard, but he gets the kill. AK picked up now. A second, not quite, but so much damage done. However, Fluxo do come out on top of this engagement with two kills. NQZ, his op wasn't taking the fight. Instead, it fell back car. He needs to be careful because he has been exploited here a couple times, and he does not have a smoke to save his life if a Molotov is thrown. Will Lamali be thrown in his position? Will they go long A? It seems to be not the case as Fluxo are backing away from long and working their way towards mid and potentially cat. They'll spot the retreat of snow at secondary op over towards B. I don't know if the op will be communicated back or not. If that's something that got noticed, Lux, the timing as he backs away, might actually save his life if he can get to a better position. But no, gone out, not going to save him from a shot from Zevi. NQZ now at car, the last line of defense. This is the first trial and misses the second onto elbow as well. Would have been flanked in by Art regardless, but not even getting a kill out of that situation is disastrous for pain. Snow will try to save, but the hunt is already on. Kai in lower tunnels. Will probably continue his push, and Art's going through T-Spawn. They have to know where Snow is, triangulated his position. He'll at least deal with one. Expects the second. Cannot quite get it done, though, and so the double ops get nothing at all. And Fluxo maintain their trepidatious lead. But they're getting closer and closer to putting this one over. Inching forward more and more. Now resetting the CT economy. To get a tenth off the back of that. 
This pain gaming's half by magic comes into effect. Two deagles, five seven, P two fifty, and a scout for Kawes, not for NQZ. Is that even spotting towards the underpass? Good tag on to Lux. Slow around from Fluxo on this T side. I'm liking how Fluxo have kept up with pain on this map of dust too. There's no real frills to Fluxo's game. It's just play together, use flashes well, use smokes well, and isolate these pain players. It hasn't even really necessarily been a skill diff. It's just been a read diff overall. Has. This late press middle, though, could be an X factor if the A set defenders can buy enough time. Big if. Not really forcing the issue. Look at T spawn. Quick, yeah, T spawn late rotation could do them in as well. Idiot gets one. Does he expect the second? Doesn't seem like it. He's going suey. He's back towards underpass. Yeah. You hear the image, let him fall back. He gets the player long doors instead. Now stuck between two, but he can just buy time. 30 seconds left. Bomb is at long doors. A good dink on the PDA, oh. but just out of the one shot headshot range. And this player, right side middle, should be all they need. NQZ doesn't even clear it. He's dead to rights. No, with the AK in hand, can't even find one. Kai's shots are impeccable right now. Head secured. Lead reestablished for Fluxo. So. Pain, a rifle by at hand, but this rifle by needs to get. Extended to more than one victory. Get this round, get the next at least. To really remain viable in this one. Yeah, Pain are struggling here on their map pick. And it's a map they've only lost once. That loss came to Imperials a while ago as well. Flukes are really maintaining the pressure. They're handling it well. They're making good adjustments off of information they've gained. And Pain are kind of going back to these same setups, which I can't even say are tried and true, as it hasn't necessarily been working all too much. Lux does a little bit of chip damage onto Zevi top middle, but it's not going to matter all too much. That op of NQZ also has not been as impactful as you would like if you are Pain. The rifle of Kawas, aside from that ace, at 10 kills. Lux has 13. Everyone relatively close on the Pain side. But the moments at which these kills are coming through are not necessarily the most impactful. Snow's already down for the count as well. And that's going to force Lux into an aggressive position towards upper tunnels through that smoke. He'll spot out Kai, but Kai will not be daunted. Big was at a two on the other side. Caught by one and then the other. Kai was an NQZ forced to save with 58 seconds on the clock, which will shrink as the bomb goes down. But Flukeso up to 11 now. Only two away from Vertigo. And a very good look from Fluke. So in some of the worrying signs from Pain we saw in Mirage, and also against Solid throughout their series earlier today, are really coming back to haunt them. And this adaptation from Fluke, so this mental fortitude as well from them, is absolutely incredible. Yes, it is. At this point, these two must survive. They have to. Already one down. NQZ probably can't survive with the op. Not against this many players hunting them down. One kill secured, two secured, three. Let's worry about two angles now, and so he'll use a smoke instead. Jump spot from the other op. Kill for NQZ. He's making it work in the pit. The spam does not connect. And so, at least he will survive. Pain. Need something. Tactical, second tactical pause used. On the cusp of a buy, NQZ can drop a rifle. And we can get FAMASs and SMGs across the board, but still far from ideal compared to the investment of Fluxo. It's far from ideal is maybe even a bit of an understatement. It's pretty rough. Two MP9s on a long... Never mind, now one MP9 on a long-range map like Dust2. A 5.7, the saved op, a USP and a P2K and a timeout. Two MP9s now. Kawas will get one. Bigu is investing nothing. Are are they saving for double op again? Okay, Deagle armor smoke late buy up from Bigu. Maybe he was just too busy giving the play, giving the.
the run down the game plan. I don't know if Lux got spotted as he slinks into lower tunnels as well. That could be a big impact. Piria flashing up, expecting something, but not really clear. He's fighting for Cat. NQZ's tagged down low. Bigu falls down. They don't know Lux is here. Can he get more than one, though? NQZ nated, and Lux goes high as Kai goes low. Kawes pushes out, met by the shot from Art, leaving Snow in a one versus four to try what he can to get the job done and what can he do besides tank bullets on the spray that's what's promising for snow as he will be finished off by kai in the end one more round for fluke so and we go to vertigo they've all but taken us to a third and pain are reeling unable to get anything done individually but a lot of that is by putting themselves in spots where they're not necessarily favored in these duels and fluke so are taking complete advantage of it working around and becoming more and more confident as time goes on. The individuals are shining. Arts at 15 kills up there with Kai and Zevi at 14. Piria has done his job, but he hasn't needed to be the star. The op actually hasn't even been the most impactful thing for Zevi. It's his rivalry that's been more important. And this T side from Fluxo. Fluid when it needs to be. Strategic and rigid when it doesn't. Disciplined. And overall, very solid. That, the first real blunder we've seen from this Fluxo T side in quite a while. That might give Payne a leg to stand on to bring this back and try to crawl for overtime. But it's four that needs to be there for Payne if we want to see bonus Counter-Strike here. And they're desperate. That last one, they pushed literally every direction. I would get mm -hmm. the directed push, catwalk and lower tons. Sounds like a really deadly combo. The swing from the MP9 should have been a lot earlier in towards tunnels, for example. But they pushed everywhere. Long, B, tunnels proper, lower, and catwalk. Two on catwalk. That's spreading yourself too thin. Fluke's obviously right. They're pushing everywhere. They're desperate. It's not set them up well going up against the wall, essentially, as it's 12 to 8. They have to win four in a row, as you mentioned. NQZ gives them a boon. They still need more. Four versus five is still most certainly winnable for the likes of Fluxo. Look at the utility for the CT side, too. Non-existent. Snow gets team mollied as well. That's, uh, that's awkward. He will still finish off Kai. Takes a lot of damage as well. And now, coming in from CT spawn, the spray from Big Ozetta might just keep the underwindow player alive. NQZ's op will shine again. Leaving Zevi and Art, who have ops of their own, to try and pull this back. Not the best of guns to use in the situation. Although, Big Zeta is about to give Art an opportunity, who he fails on as well. And on time, Zevi will live. But Pain will win the round. Stay alive. Draw closer to three now, shy of Fluxo's mark. But not a confident round for Pain, in my opinion. They rely on an early pick and then a bit of a scattered Fluxo play. Yeah, looks a little bit more frazzled there. Still three more attempts for them to close it out in regulation. Boost up for the op in towards underpass. Close though. Dead pain giving focusing on long and B proper. QZ will eventually double back, but it's big use there to find the opening with a nade on to art. A nice first to find. IGL taken down. Over aggressive. Op of NQZ holds middle. Looks like Catwalk's going to be the name of the game for the bulk of this Fluxo team. Two already up top. One lower tons and one Xbox jumping up now to make it three on the Catwalk side of things. Pain, got to put more emphasis on long instead. Hold that down. And ensure this take is only from one direction. Mid split coming through, but Big Ozetta deals with one and a half of them. Lux is there to support him from up top. Piria and Kai, who's isolated out in CT, will try to bring this back and do some economic damage at the very least. Kai may actually bring this back to a winnable situation for Fluxo as well, already dealing with the first two he had an opportunity on. NQZ's car position has not exactly been the strongest either. And there's an op for Kai now to use. One shot death machine. NQZ. Needs to hit these shots. Will get cleared by the op of Kai, who spots him and wins the fight. He's not an opper, but he is right now. 
Bomb's gonna go down. Two versus two, retake to stay alive for Pain, who are hemorrhaging in money and about to face Vertigo, barring a heroic effort from Snow and Lux. Piria backs away to support his teammate on the op and Kai, who backs to long. More defensible position in general for Piria to hold. Flashes for Lux to go up catwalk from Snow, but they're a bit early. Lux clearing up, seeing nothing. Time is of the essence. What a what a shot from Piria! Just pops on up, hits the head, reverse whack-a-mole, and flukes. So get us to a third. A great performance from them. Everybody showing up. Good calls and good reads from Art. That T side from Fluke, so absolutely immaculate. Love what I see from them in this second map. And the recovery well, lessing as a unit. The leadership of Art has that experience to bring this team into a more international style when required. But Art always has that flair, that unpredictability, that wild card factor that he'll bring to the table. Certain rounds, something will be just off enough to throw teams off of their balance. And it catches teams off guard. Pain falling victim to that on Dust 2. was a very well-called map by Art. And right now for Pain, they are up against it. They are the team without the momentum. Fluxo are the underdog. They've taken a map off of Pain. They've brought it to the third. If you're Fluxo or a Fluxo fan, I would not be hesitant to be excited about this map. No. Very much, I would say, 50-50 in my mind at the very least. Art, start things off right for Fluxo as well. He's on a P250, not a super soldier. He does have that upgraded pistol. Pain Gaming have bitten quickly on this A-ramp aggression. Fluxo have already begun to double back. Leaf Piria as a canary in the coal mine in case any aggression comes through from Pain. Fluxo have been very fanciful. With their T side pistol strategy. Yeah, they have. It's been quite cerebral. And I'm liking what I'm seeing from this Fluxo pistol round. They're trying to bait out peaks. They're trying to bait out aggressions. They're trying to force pain into some awkward spots where they can take advantage of it. So far. Piria now trying to create a little bit of decoy space over on the A site. Will be grouped up with, and Fluxa will end with this A take. Four players to defend, and it's red well. They hear all the sound cues, and what a shot from NQZ with the dual Berettas. Big Ozetta still up top as well. NQZ all but dead as he still sprays away haphazardly, trying to buy time. Nice from Big Ozetta. Lux's dual Berettas chiming in as well. The T side pistol round being plucked apart at range. Maybe too many motions. Too many moving parts. Too much WD-40. Not enough duct tape, Nate. As Kai debrains his own teammate. And whatever little chance they had of winning the round fades away with that. Finally getting their comeuppance. I criticized them early on for these very fancy, over-the-top, convoluted pistol rounds. But they really hadn't been punished yet. I'm hearkening back to Mirage when they went for the double fake over George yep. B. They do finally get their comeuppance now as Pain take away the pistol in spite of losing the opening engagement. Fluxo not even getting a bomb plant means they're going to be on a near full save. One P250 for Art. And nothing more to rival Vamasas, the MP9s, and that M4 from Pain. Should be a second on the board here for Pain without much fuss. P250 from Art if it finds a kill. Cool. The Glock gets a kill. Cool. If not, no major worry. No major fuss. One leg spotted by Bigazetta. Gets a lot of damage done. Kawes comes in with the MP9 of his own and opens up with $600 to the CT bank accounts. And Flukes are getting pretty wavy again. Pendulum swings back from A to B. Lux has to be careful. He's in a very vulnerable position. Exposed on the stairwell. One, two, three. The lineup helps him out significantly. And he'll swap to the dual Berettas for the four. Which he will grab after a very belabored spray. And only on four HP. Lucky to get out of there alive. Very lucky the aim punch helps at the end. 
Lean second from pain. Luxo, though. Didn't really invest much. They were hoping for at least a killer or two to really do some economic damage. But it's not the end of the world that nothing comes through. Luxo. Full AKs. Lacking a bit of utility specifically on Pidia. Everybody else is doing okay. Slowing things down. Where is the T side located? Mostly towards B. Trying to challenge up the ramp versus snow. But he's the one to take the opening engagement. Dropping Kai. Good utility damage towards A as well. Fluxo kind of just playing passive and getting picked apart slowly. Yeah, it's a far cry from what we saw from them throughout the course of Dust 2. There doesn't seem to be much impetus from this Fluxo team. Very slow, methodical, but not an, a an end to the aim right now. Just kind of meandering about. And unless something changes quickly, Pain are going to regain their confidence. And okay. That's a gift from Big Ozetta. Traded back, sure, but it still maintains the man advantage for Pain, taking out a pretty key player for Fluxo as well. The boost has not been discovered. Now it is, though, an NQZ. Tau is both lucky to get out of there alive. The side push from Art needs a kill, and it does not get anything. Nade is critical. And Payne just about locking down this third round. And Nick's lurking on B, but at this point he's playing for Pride. 20 seconds left, no bomb on his back, and no bomb anywhere close. It's going to race away, try to get to B site. But Payne Gaming are reading this well. Just know to ensure that full B site isn't taken. Nick's racing forward, gets one only one. Good trade from Snow. And Zevi heard seven seconds left. He's going to double back, try to save this AK. Given the fact he's so low on HP, it's the only real prudent call. Rifle upgrade for Lux, and Snow as well gets an AK. Three nothing. Three surviving for Pain. As they continue to maintain the momentum and also continue to build that CT economy. That CT economy, always something to keep an eye on, something that is critical to watch. And Payne doing a good job of keeping it good for now. Zevi has the Molotov Bloom in his face and is somehow not tagged by any of that. One thing which will never be explained how they work is Molotovs and Counter-Strike. One of the universe's great questions. Lots of utility expended towards B-Stairs for no real control from Payne. Just trying to zone out Fluxo and keep them at bay. A boost here for Zevi. What does he see? Nothing. But nothing is still info. He has to do a lot here as the hero rifle. Fluxo being a little less slow. But now starting to chunk down on the damage. Zevi spots one, but this is going to reveal the positioning of the Fluxo side. And the AK does nothing. It's tossed over to Kai. And they'll try again here with 57 seconds to go. Fluxo again, very slow. Almost aimless on this T side. If an aim is just really transparent and really passive, they're all at B. They're all just kind of cowering behind the smoke. They don't have a clear idea on how to get through it. Twenty-five seconds left at this point. They just have to go. Smoke thrown. Spot though there for Lux, who spams away. One good damage. Wing comes through there. The flash is good. The player on backside is only good for one. Kawa is still around the site, but things are getting interesting. Fuxo. I've scaled forward. The issue is they can't get these fights cleanly, and time is up. Kawa is the spray transfer on to Kai for one. Art tag down at the twenty-eight. Can't get anything either. Dang close to taking down Kawas, but can't get it across the line. 4 0 for Pain. AK upgrades recovered. Luke's another chance at bat, but it's been a worrying start to the map. They've looked aimless, they've looked scared, and that is not what you want to see coming off that victory on map two. As excited as I was for Fluxo going into this map, given how they played on Dust 2, my excitement is all but withered. 
This is a pretty dismal look from Fluxo again, almost like that beginning of Mirage Nate, where we saw a very fast string for Pain, had a little bit of a slip, but overall, Pain never really lost control of that map. And maybe we'll see Dust 2 as just a blip on the radar, but I want to see more from Fluxo here. I want to see this team have more impact in the round, in the game. I want to see a close one here between these two sides, but Big Ozera Cow is doubling down. Good support flashes from the Opera NQZ, meaning that Fluxo have three players down for nothing. 55 damage taken by, L or health remaining on Lux, 45 damage taken, 34 damage taken by Big Ozera. Just not half as much as they need. Snow does drop a counter utility coming through. Rotations coming in from the CT side. Lux also falling. Maybe an inroad here for Fluxo. Fake bomb plant by Kai. He'll have to go back and get it down eventually. There is no nade to drop on his position. Pain are making this one a little bit messy. And now with Kai getting a second on the round, it's huge opportunity. Nyx running out of ammunition. Six in the mag. Sprays. Praise. And his prayers fall on deaf ears. Pain escape with that fifth. As their lead continues to grow. And Fluxo. They make something out of a very poor start. But that something is summed up by a bomb plant. And that is far from enough. Far from enough. Best way to put it. Finally getting a bomb plant at least. That lost bonus to be able to get something on the board. The Regal Ills, two AKs. The PDI has been silent. Art's been silent. Zevi's been silent. Those are the three you would look to for quite a bit of heavy lifting. While everybody from Pain doing enough. Lux atop the board with Gawes. Dismal end potentially on the cards now for Fluxo. Lux only furthers the insult to injury, finding Kai early. The only player really doing anything on this two side for Fluxo. NQZ drops a second. That's Nyx, the only other player doing anything. Art and Xavier at one apiece. Pity I have to get on the board. That's the final trio remaining. They get a duo as Pity has also caught. Final two were boosting up. At this point, Fluxo feel overdue for a timeout. Fluxor are due for a timeout, but if they take it into the next round, Nate, they won't have guns. It'll be on a half buy. Maybe a three-quarter buy if they want to invest around the AK and the now two AKs as Zevi upgrades from the Galil. But it's a poor look from Fluxo. And a very disappointing look from them, too. They took out Red Canids very easily, 13-4 on this map. Payne lost to Solid on this map, 13-9. This is yesterday's scoreline. And Fluxo also are not the team that have played a previous best of three today. They're the rested squad. And they're the team that's looking like they played a full-on, full-length best of three, which Payne only played two maps in that one, but Fluxo looked battered. Those are tired, fatigued, not doing their due diligence, they're not running their defaults, they're just kind of grouping up, waiting, and getting picked apart. Tactical timeout used. You mentioned it wouldn't look good in this round because it should be a save. But they might just force around these two. Uh, not recovered, but saved rifles. Now it's a half buy instead. Go for something different. Question is, what can they do that's different? They change the pace, go quick. They can have a clear direction in mind. And then get mid control and go for a split. There's a lot of things they can do that they haven't tried. The question is, what are they comfortable with and what reads do they have? What is the read?
What is the play? The Tech 9s will have to do something. You can't just rely on the AKs. Art tries to get flashed in, but NQZ will have an op shot on the first. Lux deals with Art Oz for the second kill. Taking a lot of damage are those two pain players, but it's not going to matter. Big Ozeta was a clean fight onto Piria. Nyx and Zevi, the last two alive. D uh, Tech 9 for Nyx, AK for Zevi. And Big Ozeta, down to a timing. Will he live or die? The smoke will fade. Eventually. And Big U backs away from it. Zevi at least takes out NQZ. That's the op down, low HP player removed, creating a little bit more space for Fluxo. Now Nyx with an M4 in hand might just have a little bit more of an opportunity. Does Kawas expect him? No, he doesn't. Kawas cannot escape either, but around the corner is Big Ozeta. Leaving it up to Zevi. Full HP, but no bomb. Not enough time. 33 seconds to go. Known to be in middle two, as you can tell. Yep. Should be done and dusted. Maybe one kill. They might just let him save, too. I wouldn't hate that either. Keep three up. Recover that mm -hmm. op. Seven nothing, though. The statement start to this half from pain. I mentioned whoever started CT should have a, a pretty decent advantage given that both these teams are CT sided, and I knew Fluxo statistically struggled on the T side, but I did not think it'd be this. Yeah. I did not think the worst case for Fluxo would be a 7 0 start, or an 0 7 start, rather. But that's where we're at. Now the question is even with 4 or 5, will it be enough? It's the absolute best case. And right now they're looking uninspired. Uninspired, unmotivated, they look dead. NQZ starts it off well as well with the off shot on to Pierria, who is 8-0-8, eight, oh, eight, Nate. That's brutal. Star, One is your, your yeah. Two, two, two. Also can't forget that, that part. On the team for, what, six days? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Six days. Heavy. Finds an inroad. Takes down Cow is after a belabored duel. A minute eight left in the round and no clear direction still for Fluxo, who are just trying to find picks and trying to probe for information. Simply not a winning mentality at this point. To see a change of pace, something for them to try and catch pain out on the timing. Instead of Fluxo to slow things down further, further shrink back into their own shells. NQZ aggressively opping, misses a quick shot, and we'll have to fall away. Good utility and rifle damage coming through from the rest of pain, though. Big goes at it with one. NQZ finally lands his kill, goes back for more, and catches the shoulder of Nyx, leaving Art on 9 HP to do what he can. And what can he do with 16 seconds to go besides die? Get one onto NQZ. That's good. It's not a winnable round, considering everything. And now with the time being what it is, there is literally no chance Art wins it. He doesn't even get the extra damage. And eight in a row. Eight zero lead for pain. And I'm not going to say the word right now, but it is looking like a possibility that pain can achieve something they have not since the opening map of this qualifier for them. Two in such a quick fashion. Uh, interesting statement. Mm -hmm. Snow actually beaten out of B. Pi got past him somehow, and that's a free kill through the wood panel. Finally, an opening going the way of Fluke, so. But it's a weird half buy with two rifles and some pistols. Still a long way for them to go to get back into this. The disparity in weapons really going to hinder them. 
NQZ obviously feeling very, very confident. Tries to jump on top of double. We'll stick around white instead. Might just get one for his troubles. They won't expect him to be this aggressive. Woohoo! Unsecured. He'll fall back as well. Back to even footing. So committing to this A-site play. And that's an over extension from Lux, who's finally humbled. NQZ again going to the same fight, the same stomping grounds. It's his teammate instead, Kao, has to find it. Chaos around the smokes is the name of this round. Lead us back to even footing. It's giving Fluxo opportunities that they shouldn't have on this half mm -hmm. by. Payne maybe taking their feet off the gas a little bit. That's a great opening on to NQZ as well as Piria opens his account with a nice drive by Cowes around. is bailed out by Bigger Zeta. Cowes swings for the next one. Cannot quite get Piria, but gets the damage needed. One shot HP for Piria. Bigger Zeta one shot because Piria is the op. It all comes down to timing now. And Bigger can actually just play this slow. He doesn't have to peek. The bomb has to get planted. And as that goes down, he waits! And he knows that Piria is a dead man walking. Wins the fight. Grabs the kit. Fakes the jump off the edge just to give us a little bit of something to think about. Grabs all the utility in the site. And a ninth on the board for Pain. They are running away with Vertigo right now. And Fluxo. They've come close a couple of times, but close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And Counter-Strike is neither. No, it's not. 9-0. Fluxo get a solid buy off the back of the plant and the close round, but again, even if they're on par with weaponry, what can they do? They've yet to impress us even one bit. Main. Set up on A. Ty is the one to win the duel again. Another early opening going the way of Fluxo. And this time around, they do have the riflery to back it up. Ty, though, is tagged quite low, so he needs to be weary, he needs to be careful. Beginning to get a little aggressive out middle. Won't do anything because that is damaging the spray. We'll chunk players down a little bit more. Snow is found out in middle, though. His aggression called. Because that around the smoke watched for by Zevi and Payne getting overly aggressive, overzealous. Being plucked apart slowly but surely by Fluxo, who are just letting Payne walk into them. Looks to be the first round. Yeah. And it's just impatience from pain, really. Easily fixed. Oh, is caught. NQZ. Maybe just throws up off the map, honestly. That's what I would do. Bomb has been planted. I gets the bomb down. NQZ just holding for exits. Getting flanked though. He should be done here in a matter of seconds. There it is. Art is the one to do him in. And so it won't be two 13 0s in this qualifier for pain, but they're still eons ahead of their adversaries. Nine to one. But that should be a little bit of a humbling moment. That should remind them keep their foot on the gas, keep it tight, don't get over aggressive. Play as you have been and put this one to bed. Yeah. Need a little bit more here from Payne to close it out, but they also just have to not over-aggress. They have to play their game still, and Lux might actually be taken down here without a kill as he goes forward. Nyx catches him around that smoke, and so down a man, Payne will have to try and stabilize, but usually when Payne get in the situation, they start peeking aggressively elsewhere. They get picked apart by a team waiting for these peaks. That's exactly what Fluxo are shaping up to do. They're waiting for these pushes. They're waiting for the reaggressions and the info plays. And they're goading pain into going for these one-for-one -one duels, which Fluxo usually have somebody else around to at least maintain a man advantage with the trade. This is time pain aren't overdressing. 
to hold in their ground, knowing that Flukes are dawdling as they are. 45 seconds left. Flukes will rotate around for a B play. So is jump spotting though. Ready to buy more time with the Molotov. There's the spot. He'll run away. Go smoke. Drop his Molotov here in another couple seconds, if I'm not mistaken. How is though being pressured in middle is caught by the nade. Now Big U needs to rotate. Snow's caught by the players forcing the issue through the smoke. Pain are falling flat now. Suddenly, Fluxo have found the winning recipe. It's again NQZ in a one versus five. And the issue is Pain's economy has been broken. They're not going to have a buy for the last round of this first half. That means Fluxo could get three in a row. NQZ at least making it a little bit expensive. Finding two on his off, but they're still trying to hunt him down. And then Look back rate, at Mirage, Nate. This, uh, what was it, an 8-4? 8-4, but those four rounds all came like these have for Fluxo. End as well. I think it was 5-4, wasn't it? It was 5-4, and then the one round they got third round to the second half. But it's just the manner in which the rounds were won for Fluxo. Freaky. And they were given openings. Even with these last three, it's going to be a stretch for Fluxo. Let's have to get that final. So earn it. Pain scrounge together what they can. MP9s and pistols. No kit. Lackluster ability. MQZ on the MP9 whiffs the spray. Turns it into the metal girder instead. And Zevi finds Kawas. Both SMGs down. Looks are going to scale in towards A to mop things up. Should be rather clean as well. Not that matters in the last round of the half. One found. Two more to go. Lux at side halt. Finds one, but Zevi drops snow. 1v4. Cannot secure it. Fluxo a streak of three to end the half as we hit the halftime break. Yeah. 
bit of a slide from pain in the tail end of their first half, but still a stellar by most metrics, nine and three scoreline as they hit the T side. It's Pineapple Phillips and Boggs on the mic. And Flukso with it all to do to hold on to their aspirations in this one. It's the third and final. Victor will book their spot at ESL Challenger Katowice. Represent South America alongside Made in Brazil, who were invited. Smoke Flash on Art and Zevi. Uli's for Kai. Two sets of utility spread out on NQZ and Big Uzera for the Pain Gaming Offensive. Slow start. Art gets a spot. Mm -hmm. Falls back sandbags. Pain will just walk up ramp, slowly clearing things out on a contact play before they throw their execute. It's their spot. Smoke for sandbags. Never mind. Where'd that smoke go? I'm not sure where the first smoke went, but uh, Molotov will force Art to use his, and he will try to survive. As it's full on chaos around on? that smoke. Um, everyone's just focused on Art, knowing he's there, and they're trying to remove his position. But he's sitting in the smoke, getting chunked away, and eventually falls down. As Snow is the one to get that kill, but that's buying time for so many rotations to come through from the CT side. One smoke is not going to be enough. Zevi up on the boost, trying to tap away for some kills through the smoke doing damage, but Snow has added a second one to the round. The bomb getting planted now means that at least for pain, the bomb plant is taking away. That's extra money in a force buy into the next round, which usually has a lot more teeth on that T set of the Glil only being $1,800. Pierria finally eliminates Snow, but Big Ozera one for one with Zevi. Man advantage maintained by by pain. Piria and Nyx trying to get back into this one. I don't see a kit down either for them, so time is of the essence. And Piria sent over the edge, leaving Nyx in a one versus three, which he has no time to even get the objective accomplished. And so we'll end ourselves here with a tenth round of the board for pain. These extra kills, Pyrrhic victories, if that, for Nyx. And Flukso, a pistol round they had to win, does not connect. And Payne moved to three rounds from a ticket to Katowice. I almost wonder if they forced round two just because of how far behind they find themselves. Mm -hmm. This they point might be a bad idea. To. Yeah. They aren't budging. Nix at least get an upgrade pistol so you can do something with the Kevlar. Do something. There we go. Five, seven. That's all they write. All they invest. Two Mac 10s, three rifles for pain. And some contact around the map. Playing reasonably slow, waiting for the CTs to show their hand because they know it's going to happen. They know it's going to be aggressive. There it was, the B site stack explained by the aggression from the 5.7. Pain aren't immediately going towards A in the meanwhile. They're just still looking around, waiting to catch out rotations that are over-aggressive and too far forward. The pistols, the USPs, and the P250. Up against the MAC-10, two falling to Lux, 1,200 in the bank. As he opens up this A site. Clearing it out one by one, one corner by another. Spots out another, gets dinked, but does not get the kill. The MAC-10, though, still makes its money back and then some. Also revealing the fact that the B-side is pretty much open. Means that Payne can get the bomb down for free. Let that clock start ticking, and Fluxo will go for what they can. Try to steal away a rifle or two. Want to see Kawas on the hunt with the, with the MAC-10. Build up more money for this T-side. No, overrun needs to get bailed out, and he'll actually get all three. NQZ comes in a little bit too late. Snow deals with the trouble himself. Paying up by eight now, two away from qualifying. And this is the last chance buy from Fluxo. All they have has been invested here. M4s across the board. One helmet against a Galil, a MAC-10, and three AKs. No diffuse kit. Utility. They have four or five smokes. Only one incendiary, though. That's something to keep an eye on. The nades are there. The flashbangs are a little limited if it does come down to a retake. But if you are Fluxo, you don't even want to let it get to a retake. You almost can't let it get to a retake. That means your money's going to be so bad for the next round anyways. And for Fluxo, it might even be early save time too. But being down 9 to ping at 
12 out of this round, there's a, so little margin for error for Fluxo to get back into this game. Yeah, they need to win it cleanly. Ideally, without letting that bomb plant down, as you mentioned, that would indicate they had a strong hold on the site. Three up is the absolute minimum to maintain the M4s in play. Ideally, four or five is the goal. Pain have shown presence across the map. They're going to look towards a ramp, though. Good flash over. One player in ladder throwing some flash bangs as well. This is a solid defense. Pidia boosted up. I like this spot. They're on site as well to work with. And one in elevator. Spam comes in towards site. Big Uzera doesn't Pidia. Zevi good for one. But Art is quite low on site. And there's very little utility remaining for this CT side. Act 10 on site. Can't quite find Art, but Lux does find Zevi instead. In the meanwhile, Plant will come through. Art will stop it, but that's a short-lived one-and-done position. Player Elevator, low on ammo, still recovers and finds Lux. We're back to even footing. The bomb has been recovered, and both Pain players are doubling back ramp for a quick rotation B. This 2v2 still... An opportunity for Payne to really begin prepping to fly to Poland. As they'll walk in towards A, or B rather, but a good shot from Kai. And through the smoke, he'll trace NQZ. Flukso, stay alive by a thread. Only two guns move forward into the next round. Payne will have enough to buy up again, although Lux is at 1,700. He'll buy armor and a Mac 10 from the looks of things. Maybe Tech 9 pit on the utility. That'll be the case instead. But Flukso, finding a way to stay alive. Most important for them. It's still an incredibly long road back in. Seven more rounds to tie things up at 11. They need eight to get 12, and they can only afford to lose one in nine. Buy still isn't great either. She's hurting for both teams. Art's on a MP9. Lux is on a Tech 9. Progression up ramp is the call. They nearly overwhelm Pidia, who just barely gets away. It's like a rather quick A play is on the cards for Pain. Good ding from Pidia, who's awakening individually. Now kind of stymied, slowing down, waiting for the utility to come through before making their decision. Boost up, looking over the wall. If it only sees into elevator. Or pain. Z flashes himself forward and sees nothing. They're just not committing to these fights. They're just buying time and hoping if Luxo go for some sort of press or some sort of ill-advised peak. Arts chunking damage. But still no casualties for Flukes OCT side. 40 seconds to go. Payne still ready to go towards A. Utility now beginning to fly in. Payne have used all that they have besides one flashbang. And Biguzetta is ready to toss that in as well for a side haul pop. Now thinks better of it and will let it fly. It's dodged by Kai, but Zemi's there and he falls down. Piria as well. Oh, they don't clear Kai, though, and he's becoming an impact player. Snow trades him back. Big Uzeta, one versus two. 14 seconds to go. Low HP on one good crossfire setup, and he's two tunnel visioned on Art Nix. Waits for him to cross into the open. Delivers the killing blow, but again, only two players surviving for Fluke. So this time, though, they have reset the economy of pain back to pistols. No bomb plant means no even half by investment from the T side. And this gives Fluxo a chance to build up some bank on the CT side of things. For Flux, for Pain, beginning to show some weaknesses again. Who saw at the tail end of last half, all of Dust 2, and that little four round slide on Mirage. Godlin, getting somewhere, they're getting some control, and they're just waiting. Throwing utility, but not doing much with it. Run they stack outside of B. Oh, nice little run across. It's no ambiguous. We'll see nothing. It's a very hands-off passive play towards B. Also a very proactive potential rotation from Kai if needed. Minute 15. Where are the pistols going? The ladder potentially over towards the middle. Kai is here. He is alone. 
where it could be overwhelmed, but he's playing a nice long range angle. Kai will start things off with a pair, and Nyx is there to help him out. Sevi 2. Snow will get one onto Kai, and a lot of damage onto Sevi 2, but should not come up with anything else other than that one kill. That shall be all they find. And now, for Pain, they get their guns again, but I would not mind a timeout into this next round. The gap has been closed. Fluxo have doubled their rounds, they've gotten up to six. Looks like we're waking up individually as well. Nix and Zevi at 12. Kai at 14. The worrying prospect. The pain. Snow, though, doubling down. Combining fire drops Kai and Zevi. Two of the players I mentioned waking up individually. A third for Big Uzeris. The tides suddenly shift. Kao has the penultimate. Just Art alone. He's in side hall. I think he's known to be here as well. He's around this location. One versus five for an A1S. His team's economy still isn't great either. With Zevi only at 800. Kane should have this round 10 times out of 10. And QZ holding. Caught looking. Now the bomb's on B. It'll go down. Art will likely try to save. The question is how aggressively will Payne hunt? Snow is passive hunting. He's just holding an angle. Kawas is beginning to move for a bit more impact and pressure as well, but he's low on health, so he can't overextend. It appears that Pain are going to be very passive in their hunt. Hold a couple choke points. Start filling out the areas around the map. As time gets lower and lower, the diffuse becomes less and less possible. See if they can catch Art trying to reposition in the save. But don't overextend. Don't take a fight they don't need to necessarily. The money's not great for this T side. But they will have match point here. Bomb goes off. Art will save. And the money for Fluxo. Because of those casualties they sustained round after round on their streak. is utterly abysmal. Yes it is. Can't really even justify M4s on a couple. Probably going to be MP9s instead. Zevi, what will he get? An MP9 it's on the ground. Good enough utility. They have kits. They're going against a full fleet of AKs. Given the form ping was in the round prior, it's going to be a hard ask for Fluxo to find much more. Trades, NQZ finds Pidia. Art finds Big U. But NQZ is the one to double down. Finding a pair. Four versus three found in a transition over towards B. Mm -hmm. No one is here to defend this site. And the closest is an MP9 and Nyx. Kai is here now as well. The M4. The question is, what can these two players do? Both back gen, both trying to flash their way in, but players are already close. MP9 good for one. Kai a second. Kawas, though, dropped the compatriot, and Lux up top. Box finds the second. Good damage under Lux means that this plant might lead to his undoing. No, he avoids the Molotov, but his teammate falls. Zevi, 40 HP versus Lux on 24. And this is for all, all the marbles for survival for Fluxo. Zevi has Lux no kit. Put this one to bed. Yeah, no kit in play. Time's up. The essence is halfway gone, and he has no idea where Lux might be lurking. Should have a vague idea. He's on site, clearing out the back pillar. Oh, timing's everything. He starts running. Gonna tap the bomb. Does not expect the player back site, and that is what seals his fate and his team's fate, might I add. 13 6 in favor of Pain. It requires all three maps, but they do get across the line. They do right their wrongs from the start of this qualifier. And they do punch their ticket to ESL Challenger Katowice. And congratulations to Payne. It was rocky. It was messy. It was not the way they...